Welcome Sagittarius. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Go ahead and click the like button on your way on your way in, guys. And we'll go ahead and get started. Don't forget to share and comment below. Share with your family and friends, guys. All right, so we're going to jump into June. We're going to see what June has to bring for my Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. This is a general read. It may or may not resonate. What um what does not apply, just let it fly. Don't 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 get in the comment section acting crazy because you know we don't do that over here. All right, we got the moon card that wanted to jump out. Okay, there could be something that's in the dark or hidden. Okay. I'm getting Pisces' this energy. I got the Queen of Cups here as well. So I'm definitely picking up on Pisces energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces. Okay, and I'm also getting like wanting to walk away, wanting to leave something, okay? But maybe you feel like something is a risk. All right, so let's see. That's for some, that's for a few, that's not for all. That's what jumped out, all right? So let's see. Let's give an overall message for Sagittarius, please. We got you guys' energy. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Very flighty energy, okay? Kind of like all over the place, you know, here and there. Um, he, you know, here one minute, there the next minute, okay? King of Wands, you guys' energy. So you guys have been taking action. Okay, we got the Hierophant, Taurus's energy. And the Two of Cups. It wanted to come out reverse, okay? So there's a temporary relationship here or something like that here. Okay, and I'm getting I'm getting the Five of Cups, okay? And the Eight of Swords wanted to come out as well. That Moon card again. Okay, that Moon card. Okay. These came out together. I got the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Knight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. You got the Four of Pentacles. And as well as, ooh, that's too many cards. So six of pentacles. All right, so it looks like you guys are kind of like all over the place right now. Let's see why the Hierophant is here. Okay, we got the star card. I'm getting for some of you guys, this could be like a, church with the hierophant and the star card like a prayer i'm getting that as well i'm getting that somebody here is holding on to faith keeping some type of faith that something or someone will come back around um we got the two of cups in the reverse so something in a relationship or a connection may have gone sour why is the two of cups reverse The lovers, okay? Could be dealing with the Gemini. But I'm definitely getting like, you know, you want to talk, okay? You want to talk to somebody. You want to have a conversation with somebody. But are you waiting for this person to come back around first? Why is the five of cups here? Okay, regretting that something, something has changed here, okay, and you're trying to stay strong, you're trying to stay strong, but things have changed, and you're feeling regretful, why is the Wheel of Fortune here, yeah, you're pretty, 
You're pretty pissed here. Because we got the disappointment card here as well. Something about a second chance. You want a second chance on something, okay? Something in the past pissed you off, okay? And you were very confused by it. And you, we got the three of swords. Kind of sad. I'm getting like kind of sad, depressed energy, okay? Maybe you've been watching someone. You've been spying on someone, okay? Why is the eight of swords here? Eight of swords. So now you're stuck waiting for future energy. You're stuck waiting. Yeah, you want to break free so bad. You want to get out of there so bad. You want to get out of here, but you feel stuck. Like, you just stuck. Like, I want to get the hell out of here. <laughs> get me out of here. And you're wanting to break free. We got the nine of wands in the pool. So you're wanting to get out. You're wanting to break free from something. You're trying to get the hell out of Dodge of, of something. Why is the moon card here? Okay. I'm getting that there's a conversation going on here. Something about leaving. With the emperor, this could be someone's father or uncle or someone that is older. Okay. Let's see. Why is the page of cups here? Yeah, you want to have a conversation. You want to talk to somebody uh, privately is what I'm getting. But you can't. And it's pissing you off. Okay, so you want to have a private conversation with somebody here, but you can't. So you feel trapped, okay? So you feel stuck, and you want some space. I'm getting like you feel like you want some space. <laughs> How they view you, we got the Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and how they're viewing it. There's definitely, like, I'm getting a small amount of money here. Okay. Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, definitely a small amount. Okay. You could be dealing with somebody who's very well upkept, um, who really doesn't want to hear the, you know, issues or problems here. But your, your hopes and fears is the Four of Pentacles, so you're hoping that you can hang on to this. Why is the Four of Pentacles? Yep. Maybe you fear that this person is holding a grudge against you. Okay, we got the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Two of Pentacles, and a Nine of Pentacles. That's what I said. Somebody here is used to being upkept um or very independent uh energy here or just very well kept okay and i feel like you're trying to hold on and hang on to something here okay we got the six of pentacles all right see look pay the swords you're watching you're keeping an eye on them you're keeping an eye on them and you're getting information you're, you're getting the information that you need on this person why is the page of swords here yeah okay <laughs> You're getting information on this person, okay? You're getting information on this person. Maybe you're waiting to see if this person is going to cut you off or if you're going to cut this person off. All right. So let's see what messages we have for you. What message is there for my Sagittarius? Thank you. We got trust your nickel. I'm sorry, trust your path. Okay. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Something here about trust here. If you knew you were supported, what would you do? And I got the yes. Okay. So something here is about, you know, yes. Something is going to work out in your favor. But you have to trust the path, okay? We got trust the nigga. I just said that and it came out. Okay. So trust your intuition on this. 
Trust your intuition on this. Okay? Trust your intuition. Go with your gut. Trust your intuition on this situation. Give me one more card. All right? So we have um, creating heaven on earth is happening. Okay? So some of you are trying to create uh, heaven on earth. Okay? Some of you are trying to create a heaven on earth. Like you're trying, you're working hard at something. Um, but there's something that, about trust here. Do you trust yourself? Do you trust this person? Does this person trust you? And vice versa. The angels say communicate clearly. If you want this to be successful, okay, you're going to have to communicate clearly exactly what it is that you want so that it comes to you, okay? Ooh, okay. We got romance, okay? <laughs> romance. You're going to have to communicate clearly. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this could be like a love read, okay? Okay. Yeah, see, we got you getting getting more information. You're trying to get information, as much information that you can gather possibly about this situation, about this person. And we got no here. All right, so let's see. Let's get some clarifiers. Why is communicate clearly on the table here? Five of swords. Yeah, there's a communication issue. Okay. Page of pentacles. Some, this person surprised you, surprises you with the things that they say. Okay. And they could be coming off like the five of swords is someone that's kind of like, you know, <laughs> I'm getting like bad boy, bad girl energy. And someone has something shocking, like you get some shocking news or somebody says something that's like mind blowing. And you're just like, what? Five of swords. Why is the five of swords? Yeah, look, look. <laughs> okay. There's definitely conflict, conflicting energy here. Why is romance here? Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. There's definitely a very possibly high sexual drive that you have for this person. Okay, but things are just possibly like moving really, really slow. Why is the Queen of Wands? Yeah, uh, Six of Swords. Somebody, you may feel like this person is trying to move on or you're trying to move on from this person, vice versa. Why is no here? Oh, yeah. We got the... We're, you're not trying to end this. You're not trying to let this go. We got the death card. And you don't want to regret it. So you possibly are giving this person everything that they want or need or vice versa, okay? To keep them satisfied. Look at this. And you possibly are trying to save money. You possibly are trying to keep your... You know, keep them satisfied financially. Because I'm getting that there's like saving money here. Okay, you don't want to disappoint this person. So this person means a lot to you. Okay, could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries like yourself. This person means a lot to you and you're not trying to disappoint them. I'm definitely getting that. Like you're not trying to disappoint this person at all. Okay. So let me see. Let me grab a card here and see how this person views you. How does this person view my Sagittarius? Woo. Okay. <laughs> we got retreat. So they feel disconnected from you. They don't, they feel disconnected. And there's a lot of playful energy here as well. And it could be because somebody here is married. Okay. You could be dealing and dabbling with someone who is married or is, is living with someone already. There's a living arrangement. Um, and there needs to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, okay? I do feel like the chemistry is there, but I do feel like they feel disconnected. It's time to disconnect from the world. They don't feel connected, as connected to you, okay? And like I said, there's a lot of playful energy here. And it could be because someone is possibly married already. It could be because someone is married or someone is living with someone. So, they're, they're, I don't feel like... They're sure if they can take this serious, okay? Give me another card. How do they feel? Okay, yeah, honeymoon. Again, distance. And then we got separation, okay? 
So they could feel very, I'm getting like this person feels very distant from you. This could be like a long distance uh, thing here. You could be dealing with someone at a distance. Okay, but the passion is there. Okay, so this could be someone from your past that you have connected back with. But um, the passion is there. Okay, the passion is most definitely there. And they just feel like, you know, that you guys are distant. Okay, so I hope this reading was helpful, guys. If you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, information is in the drop box below, all right? So until next time, ciao.